Few movies have managed to stand the test of time as steadfastly as the 1957 classic, Sayonara. What enduring qualities do you think make this movie an everlasting symbol of the industry? In this introduction, we'll explore the profound impact this film has had, not just on cinema but on the lives of those who've experienced its narrative. Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some captivating facts about Sayonara. This cinematic gem, directed by Joshua Logan and based on James Michener's novel, paints a vivid portrait of love and prejudice in post-World War II Japan. Starring Marlon Brando and Ricardo Montalban, the film tackled complex themes of interracial relationships and societal expectations set against the backdrop of a Japan undergoing transformation. The movie was notable for its portrayal of a forbidden romance between an American airman and a Japanese woman challenging the prevailing norms of the era. Sayonara not only captivated audiences with its heartfelt storytelling but also contributed to changing attitudes towards interracial relationships. The film went on to receive several accolades, including four Academy Awards, and it continues to be a powerful reminder of the evolving landscape of American cinema during that time. A legacy of Sayonara endures through the messages it conveys and the discussions it sparks. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts and connections with this enduring classic that has left an indelible mark on cinematic history. The Matsubayashi Girls Review stage shows in the film were performed by the Shachiku Keijkaden Girls Review. These performances were a significant part of the 1957 movie Sayonara, adding cultural richness to the story. The film, set in Japan, tells the tale of forbidden love between an American soldier, Major Groover, and a Japanese woman, Hana Ogi, in a post-World War II environment. The Matsubayashi Girls Review plays a pivotal role in showcasing the cultural clashes and challenges faced by the characters, making it a memorable aspect of the movie. Directed by Joshua Logan, Sayonara deals with themes of racial prejudice and societal expectations. The film's exploration of these issues against the backdrop of the Matsubayashi Girls' review performances serves as a poignant and thought-provoking narrative. The film may be set in the past, but its themes of love and prejudice remain relevant even today. It's a classic worth watching for its engaging storytelling and its cultural significance. Sayonara, the 1957 movie directed by Joshua Logan, boasts an intriguing history. Notably, Marlon Brando was the initial choice for the lead role. Rock Hudson was offered the part but opted for a farewell to arms instead. This decision led to a significant change in the film's casting, ultimately shaping the way we remember Sayonara. Moreover, Sayonara made its mark in film history by being only the third movie to earn both Best Supporting Actor and Actress Oscars. Red Buttons and Miyoshi Yumiki's exceptional performances garnered well-deserved recognition. Their wins contributed to the film's enduring legacy. Additionally, Sayonara's musical score earned it a place among the American Film Institute's 2005 list of 250 movies nominated for F.I.'s 100 Years of Film Scores. The film's music resonated with audiences and critics alike, solidifying its position as a classic in American cinema. In conclusion, Sayonara's journey from casting choices to Oscar victories and musical recognition adds layers of fascination to this 1957 film. It remains a noteworthy piece of cinematic history worth exploring and appreciating. The 1957 movie Sayonara holds an interesting piece of cinematic history that transcends the boundaries of time. Directed by Joshua Logan, this film ventured into the complex territory of interracial romance and social conventions in post-World War II Japan. It not only portrayed a compelling love story, but also delved into the cultural conflicts that defined that era. Sayonara marked the film debuts of two exceptional talents, Miko Taka and Miyoshi Yumiki. These newcomers, previously unknown to the global audience, brought a fresh and authentic energy to the film. Miyako Taka's graceful presence and Yumiki's remarkable acting skills not only impressed the audience, but also brought a touch of authenticity to the story's setting. 
Their performances resonated deeply with the viewers, making them stand out in a film with already seasoned actors. Miyoshi Yumiki's debut performance in Sayonara was so remarkable that it earned her the Best Supporting Actress Academy Award. This recognition was a well-deserved acknowledgement of her talent and hard work. It catapulted her career into stardom, and she became a trailblazer for Asian actors in Hollywood, paving the way for future generations. This achievement, alongside Marlon Brando's charismatic lead role, significantly contributed to the film's success and left a lasting impact on its legacy. Sayonara's casting choices, its exploration of complex themes, and the exceptional performances of its newcomers are essential aspects worth exploring in the context of this classic film. It serves as a timeless reminder of the power of cinema to break boundaries and tell compelling stories that transcend the confines of their time. This cinematic gem continues to captivate audiences today, reminding us of the enduring impact of a movie that transcends generations. Sayonara, the 1957 movie directed by Joshua Logan, boasts an intriguing history. Notably, Marlon Brando wasn't the initial choice for the lead role. Rock Hudson was offered the part but opted for a farewell to arms instead. This decision led to a significant change in the film's casting, ultimately shaping the way we remember Sayonara. The film also features the only Oscar-nominated performances of Miyoshi Yumeki and Red Buttons, both of whom won in their respective categories. Red Buttons and Miyoshi Yumeki's exceptional performances garnered well-deserved recognition. Their wins contributed to the film's enduring legacy. In conclusion, Sayonara's journey from casting choices to Oscar victories adds layers of fascination to this 1957 film. It remains a noteworthy piece of cinematic history worth exploring and appreciating. In 1956, more than 10,000 American servicemen had defied regulations and married Japanese women, as indeed had the novel's author, James A. Michener. This historical backdrop set the stage for the 1957 movie Sayonara, directed by Joshua Logan. The film explores the complex terrain of interracial romance and societal norms in post-World War II Japan. Against this backdrop, the movie delves into themes of love, prejudice, and cultural clashes. Sayonara was adapted from James Michener's novel, which was serialized in McCall's magazine from October to December 1953. The novel's narrative provided the foundation for the film's compelling storyline, making it a significant adaptation of Michener's work. Furthermore, Sayonara earned its place among the American Film Institute's 2002 list of 400 movies nominated for the Top 100 America's Greatest Love Stories Movies. This recognition speaks to the enduring impact of the film as a timeless love story that continues to captivate audiences. In conclusion, the historical context of American servicemen marrying Japanese women the adaptation from James Michener's novel and its recognition by the American Film Institute makes Sayonara a notable piece of cinematic history. It's a testament to the power of love stories that transcend time and societal norms, providing a compelling narrative that remains relevant today. As we draw the curtains on our exploration of the 1957 cinematic gem, Sayonara, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this timeless classic has had on your own life. This masterpiece, directed by Joshua Logan and starring Marlon Brando, tells a tale that transcends mere celluloid, delving deep into the themes of love, culture, and the unyielding human spirit. Perhaps you, like so many others, were moved by the poignant love story that defied societal norms, or maybe the vibrant portrayal of Japan left an indelible mark on your heart. Sayonara invites us to examine our own beliefs, values, and connections to the world around us. Now, it's your turn to share. We want to hear your favorite memories and thoughts about this cinematic treasure. What scenes or characters resonate with you most? How has Sayonara left its imprint on your own journey through life? Your perspective adds a unique layer to the rich tapestry of this film's legacy. Thank you for joining us on this journey of reflection and appreciation for Sayonara. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Feel free to share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. Until our next cinematic adventure, stay inspired, stay connected, and remember the power of storytelling to shape our lives.